The Pool Leak Academy is proud to introduce the patented Pool Leak Light Tester for swimming pools. This light tester provides a quick and easy way to dye test a light housing without getting in the pool and removing the light. The tough one-piece silicone dome finds leaks in all types of lights, including those that are hanging loose in the housings, lights out of reach in the deep end, and lights fitted in curved pool walls. Simply squeeze the dome over the lens and die test the open tube with tracer dye. Obvious suction of the dye indicates a leak in the light. But before we get into our new light tester, I wanted to update viewers about our latest dye testing cones, now available in a bigger size with the clear hose and funnel. There's no need to pressure test because these cones quickly isolate pool plumbing for a static dye test and save a lot of time and troubleshooting a pool for leaks. These larger blue cones are nearly a half inch bigger in diameter and fit larger bottom drain sockets a bit easier. If you are unfamiliar with the way the dye testing cones are used, watch our YouTube video for a demonstration of the cones in action. We also have a professional dye testing kit which offers the best dye testing syringes available along with the ultimate 12 inch long metal needle. The extra length of this needle can keep your hands out of the cold water and also gives you the reach to keep you from kneeling as you test the pipes around the pool. You will see the long needle used extensively in this video, and I'm sure you'll want one. Most of our products are available on eBay, Amazon, and of course our own website, the Pool Leak Academy. Getting back to the light tester, I spent several years developing this for my personal use, and it had to satisfy a lot of requirements for me to bring it to market. The large dome covers the light, but also needs to be flexible enough to fit the deep curves of some of the freeform pools that a hard dome won't work on. The compound handle reaches deep pool lights with just one hand, so you can die test with the other. I needed it to work on lights that are loose in the housings where a suction cup won't stick. And really important, it had to be tough enough so it would not fall apart in my van after one season. The dome also fits standard pool poles for testing bottom drains. We have different size ports for inserting die testing tubes, or even a hydrophone to hear leaks behind the dome. The dome is clear so you can see the traveling path in the direction of the tracer die, identifying the location of the leak. But the key to the dome's success is the ring seat that gets pressed tight against the light lens and stops the movement of the dome. It also acts to self-center the dome to ensure it's placed properly on the light lens. See how the dome sits off kilter if the dome is off center. This pressing action also makes the accordion seal stick to the pool wall. Once in place, give the dome a minute to settle and then die test the open tube. Let's watch this tester in action. We designed this on the computer, ran stress simulations, built and tested many prototypes, but I was a little nervous when the first shipment of the final product arrived at the shop. After testing it in the field, it functioned beyond expectations. The final product is a clear winner and I would not change anything about it. With the rest of this video, we are spending the next 15 minutes on different leaks that you may find in lights, what to look for, and how to repair them. I've been fixing pool leaks for over 30 years, so my experience should be evident with this and other leak videos that I have made. I want to introduce you to our leak detection training manual and DVDs available on our website. This series teaches you swimming pool leak detection and includes methods of finding and repairing leaks in broken pipes, bottom drains, skimmers, and lights. Check it out at thepoolleakacademy.com. Warning, to avoid the possibility of electric shock, always disconnect the power at the breaker box before servicing a swimming pool light. Light housings present some special challenges to the leak detector. Whether the housings are made of metal or plastic, each type has their own Achilles heel. But they all have one thing in common, and this is true with most pool leaks. Leaks can clog themselves with dirt and debris and stop leaking. Often when I look for a leak, I search for leaves and debris stuck in a crack. Customers phoning in always report that their pool leaks more with the pump on and less with the pump off. This fact leads to the misdiagnosis of a pipe broken under pressure. But we know that the leak is just clogged up until the pump turns on and washes it loose. A leak in a skimmer or a bottom drain will act like this. 
Lights will not leak more with the pump on or the pump off. But lights always have a ton of dirt behind them, and finding a clogged leak after you stirred up the dirt can be impossible. Here are some examples of lights with common leaks that might help you with your pool repairs. A broken light conduit will normally draw and die right up the pipe if it did not clog up. Now if I find the light conduit is wide open, I always seal it up just in case. To pack the conduit, I use a white quick set 5 minute epoxy that sets the wires firm so they don't move when the light is reinstalled. I can tell from here this conduit is not leaking. Here's the back of a conduit that has an epoxy seal, but if you look carefully and notice the discoloration spots in the wires, you will conclude that the wires are making contact with the back of the light. These wires are being pressed on and forced to the side. This configuration belongs to the big copper light that has less than one inch in the back for the wires to fit. If these wires are not epoxied at an angle, you never get the light back in properly. I have my own light conduit epoxy tool, which is useful for packing epoxy up the conduit. This tool works especially well with a spa conduit. Notice the truck mirror I use to see inside the light. Besides quick set epoxy, there are a few other ways to seal a conduit, and one disturbing trend is to use black butyl tape wrapped around the wires and stuffed up in the conduit. Sure, it has the advantage of being removable. Sadly, I've seen very few people do this repair properly and actually jam the rubber deep in the pipe. Not too many people are hip to the fact that butyl rubber rots and after a year or so, it loses its adhesive properties. But my main gripe is I don't like trying to dye test the dark color of the black butyl patch. I dislike butyl tape so much that if I ever come across a light with an old butyl tape patch, I assume I found the leak and reseal it up with a fresh quick set epoxy. When a new pool is being built, it's common for silicone glue to be shot up in the conduit. After a few years, it can lose its adhesion and get loose, and still just be tough to test. Here's how tricky a silicone seal can be. This white seal looks real good until you pull the cord to the side and then die test it. This seal was the leak I was looking for. Whenever I see these silicone repairs, I have to pull out the old patch and reseal it with white quick set epoxy. I run into a lot of old epoxy patches that are just hard to test. New epoxy does not stick to old epoxy. It's best just to get a hammer and a screwdriver and chip out the old patch, sand the metal with sandpaper and scrub the area with a wire brush. Then reseal the conduit with quick set epoxy. Remember to always die test any fittings, joints, or ground bolts in the housing. As I mentioned epoxy, there are two different types of epoxies that are used in pool leaks. There is a quick set epoxy that sets in five minutes but has the disadvantage of poor adhesion. It's better as a plug than a standalone patch or a seal. Then there's the slow setting AB epoxies that stick well but take an hour or more to set up hard. The problem is within this hour the chemical reaction gets the epoxy warm and soft before it hardens. The epoxy gets so soft that the weight of the water will punch a hole in any weak spot in the patch. This epoxy push through is quite common in repairs. So the leak you're so happy you found and sealed a few hours ago just broke back open and is leaking again. Of course, we're talking about repairs in bottom drains, but also leaks as shallow as six to eight inches underwater can have enough pressure to push the epoxy right through. The solution to push through is to plug any leaks with quick set epoxy, then seal over that plug with AB epoxy for a bulletproof repair. The outside of these light housings are leaking between the mar site and the housing. Quite often, it's the bottom of the light niche because water drips from the housing as the pool is being refinished. All these leaks need the double whammy of both types of epoxy or else the epoxy will push through. Moving on, this older type of light housing has been plaguing the pool industry for years. 
The entire light bezel is just a metal bowl set in cement, and the screw hole through the pan is sealed from behind by just the cement of the pool. If you pull out the screw, the pool is going to drain quickly. Throughout the pool industry, the light screw has a standard thread size of 1024, but this screw size is bigger, 1224. So this common leak can be caused by inexperienced finish crews and homeowners who want to change a light bulb unaware that without this bigger screw there's going to be a leak. Usually I wrap Teflon around the screw, but occasionally I fill the void behind the light with expanding foam. In this video I use Great Stuff foam, but I think Loctite closed cell foam is a better product. My point is that this light housing had plenty of leaks around the housing and the foam filled the void behind the light and sealed all the leaks in the finish. One of the sneakiest leaks a Pentair metal light housing can have is in the seal between the brass ring and the stainless housing. Whether it's a soft rubber or a hard acrylic, this light ring gets old and can rot out and it just takes one spot to cause a problem. I call this leak sneaky because it will always clog itself during an inspection, and for a few days the pool won't leak. But after a week, you get the call that this pool is leaking again. It's because of this ring. I always chip out this seal with a screwdriver, scrub the seam with a wire brush, and sand the bare metal with 180 grit wet dry sandpaper. Then I reseal the entire ring with slow set epoxy. Now I just use slow set here because the epoxy is filling in a wedge shaped valley between the rings and won't get pushed through. Here's a big tip if you look for a lot of pool leaks. Even if the rest of the rubber seal is in good shape, I always use a mirror and inspect the hidden area up under the screw port. This tiny leak is caused when the ring is sealed with adhesive from the factory. The worker can miss just this one spot with his thumb. If you don't find this leak, you'll spend hours at the pool wondering what you could have missed. Here's a different kind of metal light ring. It's more of a one inch strap that orbits the light niche. It can have loose spots between the welds. Here's an old epoxy repair rotted through or possibly got pushed through from the day it was put on. Twice a year I run into a conduit that has completely fallen off the back of a light housing. It seems the copper fittings rot out, especially in the acidic environment of a fiberglass pool. Here I was able to remove the light cord and insert a half inch PVC pipe that supports the conduit through the light housing. I then sealed up the opening with quick set to hold everything tight and went over that epoxy with slow set epoxy. I threw in this picture of a light housing in a fiberglass pool after all the support screws were removed. Someone tried to replace the brass bezel holding the light in place. I've replaced these rings before, but always left a stud in place just out of concern this might happen. Seems my instincts were correct. Now I've made another YouTube video dedicated to cracks in plastic light housings. It's an eye-opening video about a big problem in the pool industry caused by these faulty light housings and the way they fail. I would guess there are five different manufacturers but they all have the common problem of cracking in the back of the housing. The crack is caused by the weight of the dirt settling on top of the conduit, bending it where it's connected to the back of the housing. In metal light housings, there was a male adapter that would crack under the stress. In plastic light housings, the conduit is glued directly into the back of the housing, and there's no weak link. So the entire housing starts to split under the load. This movement of the soil can take a few years to happen, or the crack can appear during construction as soon as they backfill the pool. The biggest problem with this crack is it keeps outgrowing any epoxy repair you put on it. I've had some success gluing thick vinyl patch over the cracks using Quad Max as an underwater adhesive. You really have to sand the plastic thoroughly or the adhesive will not stick to the plastic. 
Check out the YouTube video on plastic light housings and more on repair details, but here are the basics. As I said before, sand the hell out of the plastic or the adhesive will not stick well. Seal the original crack with quick set epoxy. I use Quad Max as an adhesive and during the procedure I use most of the 10 ounce tube on one light. Wear rubber gloves to keep the glue off your hands and have strips of vinyl ready to glue them far beyond the crack, especially in the direction of its growth. Here the blue painter's tape is removed to show the final result. Again, most of the different styles of plastic light housings crack like this, but the biggest offender and the hardest to fix seems to be the model with the big star bolt in the conduit. If you see the big star bolt, you need to use a flashlight and look carefully for the beginnings of a crack behind the recess of the star bolt. This small crack is just going to get bigger. As you gain experience with these light housings, you'll notice that one never seems to crack, and that's the Hayward with the rectangular reinforcement on the back. This design seems to strengthen the back of the housing well enough where it does not split like the others. This means if the housing gets too much stress, the light will break in the conduit. So patch the conduit with quick set epoxy whether you can tell it's leaking or not. Well that's a wrap. Thank you for watching my leak detection video on light leaks and the demonstration of the light leak tester. If you're interested in more on leak detection training, take a look at our DVDs available at the Pool Leak Academy. You can learn to find and fix leaks in broken pipes, bottom drains, skimmers, and lights. They are the best leak detection videos available. Thank you for watching.